What do these mean? Roman numerals. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, we're going to talk about Roman numerals. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel or a cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through buying our merch like this trying hard hoodie that I'm wearing right now. So if you want to go and buy one, check out our website, shop.teamlaika.com. So you can see the caps, hoodies, shirts, mugs, other things that I designed for this team. So if you can't afford to buy one, that's perfectly fine. This is just all of us, the entire team from all over the world pitching in to make sure that we have the resources that we need to keep this movement going. So marami salamat sa inyo And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's talk about Roman numerals and uh, whether ito talaga yung topic sa exam or number series na biglang Roman numerals yung nakalagay. This is something that I think we all need to relearn, lalo na kung nakalimutan na natin. Okay? We're going to start with this list, no? Ito yung mga equivalent ng bawat uh, Roman numeral. Yung I is 1. Yung V, I5. X, I10. L is 50. C is 100. D is 500. And M is 1000. Ang madalas na gamitin talaga ay yung 1, 5, 10, yung 100, tsaka yung L, yan. Medyo bihira ng humaakyat sa M, no? Pero it really pays for us to remember pa rin para hindi tayo magkamali sa exam. Now, there are ways to remember this para mas madaling matandaan. What you could do would be remember M as, di ba, mil or millennium, di ba? Kapag sinabi natin millennium or gismil, ang ibig sabihin nun is 1,000, okay? Now, yung C naman, di ba? Yung word natin na uh, century, di ba? Tapos yung cent, diba? percent, ibig sabihin nun 100. So, medyo madali rin tandaan. Or centavo. Centavo kasi, 100 na centavo ay isang piso. Okay? Now, yung L, para madali rin natin matandaan or para ma-picture din natin, you could look at the letter L. Tapos, dudugtuan ko lang siya dito ng parts na yan. And then, it will be 50. Okay? So, just something to visually uh, represent yung, yung equivalent niya. Okay? Now, there are certain rules when it comes to Roman numerals at kung paano siya isulat. And yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa susunod. Now, isusulat natin yung first 10 numbers. 1 to 10 as Roman numerals. Yung 1, that would be isang I. 2, dalawang I. 3, 1, 2, 3. Tapos yung 4, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Kasi hindi na siya pwedeng apat na I. Ang rule is hanggang tatlo lang. So, ang gagawin natin, susulat natin siya as IV. Now, if you can see right here, ang V is 5. Ang idea is, if yung number or yung symbol na nauuna ay mas maliit kesa dun sa nahuhuli, isusubtract natin siya sa kanya. So, this is basically 5 minus 1. 5 is just V. Ang 6 ay VI. Okay. Now, ano yung pinagkaiba ng IV tsaka VI? Yung pwesto. Kasi kapag ang symbol ay mas maliit at sumusunod sa mas malaking symbol, ina-add natin siya. So, this is 5 plus 1 or 6. Okay? Next, we have 7 which is written like this. You have VII. 8, V, tapos 3. 1, 2, 3. Yung 9, okay? Dahil ang 9 ay 10 minus 1, at ang x ay 10, sinusulat natin siya as i x Or 10 minus 1, which is 9. Tapos yung 10 is x. Okay? Balikan natin yung ilang rules na ginamit natin kanina. Sabi natin yung numbers are placed from left to right. Ganun natin siya basahin. Now, if the bigger number comes before the smaller number, ia-add natin sila. So, kung gagawin natin Roman numeral yung number na ito, ang 12 is like 10 plus 2. 
So, yung 10, which is x, isusulat lang natin siya. Tapos, kung magdadagdag tayo ng 2, maglalagay tayo ng dalawang i. This is 12. Okay? Now, magdadagdag tayo ng ilab ilan pang rules na napakita na natin kanina. Number 3, if the smaller number comes before the bigger number, we have to subtract. Ibig sabihin nun, again, kung ang vi ay 5 plus 1 or 6, ang iv is 5 minus 1 or 4. Kasi yung i ay mas maliit kaysa sa v. At siya ay nauuna, hindi nahuhuli. Another thing that we have to talk about is that the same symbol cannot be used more than 3 times in a row. Kaya again, yung 3 ay ganito. Pero ang 4, hindi mo siya pwedeng isulat ng ganito. Okay, mali yan. Bakit? Kasi apat na siya. Kaya sinusulat natin siya as I, V. Now, another thing, only, no only one number can be subtracted from another. Kaya kung isusulat natin yung number na 87, even if 87 is 100 minus 13, kahit pa pareho lang yan, hindi natin siya pwedeng isulat as X, I, 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 C or 13, di ba yan? Tapos to ay 100, tapos dahil siya ay nauuna, ibabawas natin siya sa 100. Hindi. Kapag 87, isusulat natin siya ng isa-isa. You have 50, 30, and 7. Now, let me show you how I write things and ano yung step-by-step -step na procedure using this next example. We have the number 89. Now, pag tingnan natin yung listahan ng mga Roman numerals natin, meron tayong 50, meron tayong 10, at iba pa. Pero walang saktong 80. And that's okay. So, ibig sabihin nun, ipipiece natin by piece itong number na 89. Una nating hahatiin dun sa 80 at 9. Na ano naman ba yung 80 at paano natin siya isusulat? Now, ang 50 ay L. Okay? So, ito ay 50 na. Kulang pa tayo ng tatlong 10. Now, dahil pwede namang tatlong magkakasunod, Bawa lang ang apat. Pwede kong isulat yung L. X, X, X. This is 50, 10, 10, 10, or 50, 60, 70, 80. Next natin kukunin ay yung 9. Now, dahil ang 9 ay 10 minus 1, at hindi natin siya pwede isulat as V, I, 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 kasi apat na siya, hanggang tatlo nga lang, ba? Isusulat natin siya as I, x. Now, ito ay dudugtong ko lang dito, kasi nga we read from left to right. So, that would be i x right here. 89. Ganito natin siya isusulat. Okay? Now, another thing we have to point out is that you cannot subtract a number from one that is 10 times greater. Ano ibig sabihin nun? If we have a huge number like this, 999, Parang, di ba, kung tutusin, parang ang dali isipin na ano na lang siya. Dahil ang M ay 1,000, I am na lang. Di ba? Kasi 1,000 minus 1, which is 999. However, because of the last rule, na hindi natin pwede ibawas yung number na uh, more than 10 times na mas malaki sa kanya, hindi tama yung I am. In fact, Mahabang proseso kung i-convert natin yung 999 sa Roman numerals. Kukunin muna natin yung parts niya. Dito, meron tayong 900 plus 90 plus 9. Yung 900, that is 1,000 minus 100. At dahil hindi naman na higit sa 10 times yung 100 times 10 sa 1,000, pwede na natin siyang gamitin. So, ang 900 ay C M. Or, this is 1,000 minus 100 or 900. Next, we have 90. Ang 90 is 100 minus 10. So, that is XC. Okay? So, again, XC is 100 minus 10 or 90. Tapos, yung 9 naman. Ang 9 is 10 minus 1. So, that is I, X. So, ang 999 is C, M, X, C, I, X. 
Now it's time for your quick quiz. I'm going to give you some numbers na i-convert nyo sa Roman numerals at ilang Roman numerals na i-figure out nyo naman kung ano ang ibig sabihin in numbers. Alright? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Here's the first one. Ang 37 ay 30 plus 7. Kung kukunin natin yung 30, pwede natin siyang isulat as tatlong x. Okay lang na tatlong x kasi hindi naman siya apat, no? Kasi hanggang tatlo yung maximum natin. So, tama na tayo sa 30, doon na tayo sa 7. Now, ang 7, pwede natin isulat as 5 plus 2. Or V plus I and another I. So, ang 37 is XXXVII. And I hope you got this right. At again, mag-ingat sa dami ha. Kailangan saktong-sakto. Next, we have 892. Ang 892, pwede natin hatiin sa 800 plus 90 plus 2. Doon muna tayo sa 800. Now, ang 800, pwede natin isulat as D plus tatlong 100 or C, C, C. Okay? So, this is 500 plus 100, 100, 100. Kompleto na tayo sa 800. Next, we have 90, which is 100 minus 10. So, gagawin na lang natin siyang X, C. Tapos, yung 2, which is just I, I. So, we have this. D, C, 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 X, C, I, I. 892. Dito sa number 3, figure out natin kung anong number tong L, X, I, X. Now, una sa lahat, makikita natin na ang L, X, dahil ang L ay 50, at ang X ay 10, yan ay 60. Tapos, yung I, X, dahil ang I ay smaller than X, na uuna siya dito, ibig sabihin, ima-minus mo siya. This is 10 minus 1 or 9. So here we have 60 plus 9 or 69. So number 4, we have DCXX. Now, ang D is 500, ang C is 100, at ang X, X, dalawang X is 10 plus another 10. So, ibig sabihin, ang DCXX ay 620. Next, ito yung ating huling number. We have XCVII. Now, yung X ay 10, ang C ay 100. Mas maliit siya kaysa sa 100. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagawin natin dito is 100 minus 10. Or, this part right here is 90. Tapos, you have VII, which is 5 plus 1 plus 1 or 7. So, ibig sabihin nun, this is 97. Okay? Now, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me on Instagram at likeamaravilla. Do natin sa Instagram stories, pinapost yung ating quick quizzes na bago. And if you want throwback quick quiz questions, pinapost naman natin yun dun sa at team like an account on Instagram. Doon natin din pinapost yung mga important na announcements, events, at iba pa. If you're on TikTok, you can also follow me at team Laika on TikTok for the English and Math videos at marami pang educational content. At at team Laika naman para dun sa mga personal videos, motivational videos, tips, advice, at ibang mga skits na ginagawa ko just for fun. Alright? See you online.
All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. And don't forget to examine sila. That way, mas salamat tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. All right? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. And I would hate for you to miss those. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now. All right, thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want more video lessons, there's one right here that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me better, see you behind the scenes, what's going on videos, na ito, you can click right here for the vlogging channel. All right, thanks and see you soon.